Welcome back to Math Dogs. If you're new to the channel, please comment, like, and subscribe. If you have any questions, please comment down below. Today's topic is the order of operations, and we're going to work through some practice problems. If you need a review before we get started, check out one of the other Math Dogs videos so you can see how the order of operations works. Remember, we believe math is better with your dog, so call your pups. Let's get started. Problem number one says 6 plus 4 times 7 minus 2 minus 3 squared. So we're going to start out with grouping symbols. I have 7 minus 2 in parentheses. That will give me 5. So 6 plus 4 times 5 minus 3 squared. Next is exponents. I do have an exponent on the 3, and I know that 3 squared is 9. Next, multiply or divide from left to right. I have 4 times 5, so I will have 6 plus 20 minus 9. And then last but not least, add and subtract from left to right as you see them. So 6 plus 20 is 26. 26 minus 9 is 17. Problem number 2 says 12 minus the quantity 2 cubed minus 5 plus 9 minus 7. So I'm going to start with grouping symbols. I have both brackets and I have parentheses. In fact, I have two sets. If you have grouping symbols inside other grouping symbols, you work from the inside out. So I'm going to work 2 cubed minus 5 and 9 minus 7 as the first step. I know that 2 cubed is 8, so this will be 8 minus 5. So I will have 12 minus 3 plus 9 minus 7 is 2. I still have a grouping symbol with the brackets. 3 plus 2 is 5, so I will have 12 minus 5, which is 7. Problem number 3 says 2 times 9 minus 6 squared over 2 plus 5 times the square root of 7 minus 3. So I'm going to start with grouping symbols, and there are a lot of them in this problem. I have the parentheses on top. I have the fraction bar, which separates the top from the bottom and behaves like a grouping symbol. I have the set of parentheses on the bottom, and I have the square root symbol. So I'm going to work 9 minus 6, 2 plus 5, and the 7 minus 3 first. That will give me 2 times 9 minus 6 is 3 squared over 2 plus 5 is 7, and 7 minus 3 is square root of 4. Now I'm going to move on to my exponents. I know that 3 squared is 9, so I would have 2 times 9 over 7 times, I can work the square root of 4 and get 2. 2 times 9 is 18. 7 times 2 is 14. And if I reduce this by 2 over 2, I will get 9 sevenths. Problem number 4 says 5 times 2a plus 3b minus 4 times a minus b. So we're going to start with grouping symbols. 2a plus 3b, I can't add them, they're not like terms a minus b. I can't add or subtract those. They're not like terms. There's no workable exponent. Let's check for multiplication and division. I do have that. Algebraic multiplication is the distributive property. And in fact, I have two distributive properties. So 5 times 2a would be 10a. 5 times 3b would be 15b. Negative 4 times a would be negative 4a. And negative 4 times negative b would be positive 4b. Now I'm going to add and subtract. Algebraic adding and subtraction is combining like terms. So I look for the same variables. 10a minus 4a. These are the same terms. 10a minus 4a is 6a. Then I'm going to look for the b's. Plus 15b and plus 4b would be plus 19b. So my answer would be 6a plus 19b. Problem number 5 says 4y squared minus 5 times 3y squared plus y minus 7y. So I'm going to look for my grouping symbols. I do have parentheses. However, you can't work anything inside them. 3y squared plus y, they're not like terms. Next are exponents. I do have exponents, but neither one of them are workable exponents. They're both on variables. Next, multiply and divide. I do have algebraic multiplication, which is the distributive property. I'm going to multiply negative 5 by both terms inside. So I would get 4y squared 
negative 5 times 3y squared is negative 15y squared. Negative 5 times positive y is negative 5y. I'm going to end my multiplication because the parentheses stopped. Minus 7y. Last, adding and subtracting, which algebraically is combining like terms. So I have 4y squared and negative 15y squared. They're both named y squared. When I combine them, 4 minus 15 is negative 11y squared. I also have like terms with the y's. Negative 5y and negative 7y is negative 12y. And so my answer is negative 11y squared minus 12y. Problem number 6 says 2 plus 3 times 4a minus 1 plus 6a minus 9. So first I'm going to start with grouping symbols again. I have parentheses 4a minus 1. It's not workable. They're not like terms. There are no exponents in the problem. So now I'm going to look at multiplication and division. I do have algebraic multiplication or the distributive property. I'm going to multiply 3 times 4a and 3 times negative 1. So I would get 2 plus 3 times 4a is 12a, and 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. End my multiplication, plus 6a minus 9. Last, I'm going to do adding and subtracting, which algebraically is combining like terms. So I have an a and an a. I am going to add 12a plus 6a, which will give me 18a. And then I'm going to add together my numbers, 2 minus 3, is negative 1. Negative 1 minus 9 is negative 10. So my answer is 18a minus 10. So that's it. Some order of operations practice problems. If you need a review, check out some Math Dogs videos that deal with the order of operations. If you put in the time and effort, you can definitely solve any problem. And remember, as we say at Math Dogs, you got this.